Hello, I'm Kevin McCormick. Welcome to this episode of Lake Orion Sports Update. Today, we're going to bring you the latest news in Lake Orion sports, including basketball, hockey, wrestling, and more, all coming up right now. On Thursday, February 4th, the girls basketball team traveled to Bloomfield Hills to take on the Blackhawks. Coach Roberts said it was a great team defensive effort that he was impressed from the beginning when the Dragons weren't hitting baskets but were playing a good defensive game and rebounding shots really well. During the first quarter of action, neither team put up a lot of points, but Bloomfield was in the lead 6-3. The Dragons scored 13 points in the second to Bloomfield's six, and the third quarter was closed with only a one-point difference in points, with Bloomfield coming out on top with a score of 12-11. Lake Orion came into the fourth quarter leading 13-7. The final overall score was Lake Orion 40, Bloomfield Hills 31. Lake Orion's Matty Novak scored 21 points, and teammate Evelyn Wishmeyer chipped in 15. On Tuesday, February 9th, the Lady Dragons played against West Bloomfield High School. Lake Orion went into this match looking to even things after their loss against the Lakers in January. In the first quarter, Lake Orion came out of the gates with a large lead scoring 16 points to West Bloomfield 7. Things even out a bit in the second quarter when the Dragons scored 14 and the Lakers scored only 10. West Bloomfield had a one-point lead after halftime, 16 to 15. The fourth quarter was a stalemate with both teams earning 15 points. The Dragons were able to seal the deal, however, beating the Lakers by a final score of 60 to 50. On February 12th, the Lake Orion girls hosted a home game against Troy High School for the second time this season. Lake Orion started out hot, outscoring the Colts by 10 in the first quarter. The lead flip-flopped back and forth through the remainder of the game. The second quarter went in favor of the Colts, who scored 15 points to Lake Orion's 10. After halftime, though, the Dragons regained the lead, ending the third quarter 19-10. Troy dominated the final quarter 16-7. The final score, however, was Lake Orion 52, Troy 47. Lake Orion's Matty Novak had 22 points to lead the Dragons. She was followed by Lauren Thorne with 12 points. Evelyn Wishmeyer chipped in 11. Troy's Johanna Lafayette was the leader with both teams with 25 points. The Lady Dragons hosted a home game against the North Farmington Raiders on Thursday, February 18th. The Raiders started the game with a high-scoring lead against the Dragons by 15-4. Lake Orion was able to put up more points in the second quarter and earned 11 points while the Raiders had 10. The Dragons kept laying on the pressure in the third quarter, earning 10 points to North Farmington 6. Lake Orion continued to outscore the Raiders in the fourth quarter with a score of 11-9. Unfortunately, though, it wasn't going to be enough to defeat the Raiders as the Dragons lost with a final score of 40 to 36. The boys varsity basketball team held a home game against C.O. Maple Leafs on February 2nd. The game was a defensive struggle from the start and the Dragons held the Maples to just 12 points in the first half and scored 21 of their own. The Dragons continued to extend their lead in the second half, eventually beating the Maples by a score of 46 to 31. David Gomez led the Dragons with 16 points, and Steve Zemieski added 12. For the next game, the Dragons boys traveled to Farmington Harrison for their OAA crossover game on February 5th. The Dragons held the Hawks to a mere 17 points in the first half. Lake Orion was able to keep the points coming in the second portion of the game and successfully clinched a 16-point win with a final score of 66-50. David Gomez had a game high of 33 points, and teammate Steve Zemieski added 10. On February 11th, Lake Orion traveled to Rochester High School for another away game. The first half of the game ended close with the Dragons trailing by only four points. In the third quarter of action, Rochester earned 11 points while Lake Orion earned seven, leaving the Falcons with an eight-point lead at the beginning of the fourth. The Dragons had an explosive fourth quarter, scoring 25 points to Rochester's 15. The final score was close, though. Lake Orion had 49. Rochester finished with 47. This was a fifth game in a row that the Dragons won. David Gomez game, scored a game high of 31 points, 18 of which came in the fourth quarter. Noah Harris helped score 10 to help the Dragons win. On February 16th, the Dragons boys faced off against Stony Creek Cougars in a home game. Lake Orion took off running during the first half of the game, 
earning a 30 to 23 lead over the Cougars. Stony Creek, however, did not take that lying down and pushed to tie the game at 42 at the end of regulation. Both teams went into overtime to settle the score. Stony Creek, however, pulled out a one point victory over the Dragons. It was 62 61 in the Cougars' favor, but Lake Oring was led by David Gomez once again, who scored 30 points, and Chris Dudek scored 14. The next game the Dragons would play would be an away match against Farmington High School on February 19th. The teams were pretty close in points at the end of the first quarter with only one point difference in Farmington's favor. The Falcons continued to outscore the Dragons in the second quarter by 19 to 14. After halftime, Lake Orion really put up their focus on putting up points and they scored 15 against nine for the Falcons. Unfortunately though, Lake Orion would slip in the fourth when Farmington took 23 points to Lake Orion's 19. The final score of the game was 66-62, making this the second consecutive loss for Lake Orion. David Gomez once again led the team with 26 points, and teammate Noah Harris got 13, Chris Dudek threw in 12. The Lake Orion hockey team held a home game against Farmington at the Detroit Skating Club on February 4th. Lake Orion started out strong in the first period of action at the 13-36 mark. Lake Orion's Jake Chappie scored the first goal of the game on a breakaway. The second goal of the period was earned by Connor Graham. Bridger Stevenson was near the net, who passed the puck to Graham, who was able to slip it past the Farmington goalie. With less than four minutes left in the first, Farmington got on board when Lake Orion tried to clear the puck from their zone and the Falcons intercepted. The second period of the game is where the majority of the Knights' goals were scored. Lake Orion's Drew Casey scored a goal and Joe Brisky also scored two goals. The Falcons also managed to put up three goals, leaving the score at 5-4 to four at the end of the second with Lake Orion in the lead. Farmington pressed hard in the third quarter and put up two goals. Unfortunately, the Dragons were unable to put the puck past the goalie, and the Falcons won the game 6-5. Only two days later, the Dragons would travel to Farmington Hills Ice Arena for a rematch on February 6. The Falcons were the first to score a point in the first period of the game. The Dragons were able to score in the second to tie the game up going into the third period. The two teams worked hard in the third, but were still tied after they both scored a goal each. They headed into eight minutes of overtime to find a winner. Unfortunately for Lake Orion, Farmington scored the game-winning goal and won with a final score of 3-2. Lake Orion's next game would be at home against the Stony Creek Cougars on February 11th. In the first period, neither team was able to put the puck in the net and went into the second tied at zero. Points were earned by both teams in the second period, the Cougars gaining two and the Dragons getting one. Lake Orion would not be able to earn a goal in the third period of play, but the Cougars earned one more point, making the final score 3-1. to one. Jake Chappie was a single scorer for Lake Orion, and he was assisted by Joe Brisky and Drew Casey. On Saturday, February 13th, the Dragons hosted a home game against the Clarkston Wolves. This game was also the senior night for the Dragons. Seniors uh, Kurt Nyland, Jake Chappie, Thomas Naughton, Andrew Laurent, Drew Casey, Bridger Stevenson, and Stephen Oberheim were honored on their home ice. Lake Orion worked hard during this game to give their seniors a win during senior night. In the first period alone, the Dragons scored six goals. Will Thornton, Dylan McCallum, Drew Casey, Andrew Laurent, Drew Casey, and Joe Brisky were the scorers for the first 17 minutes. The Dragons continued to score goals in the second period. Lake Orion's Drew Casey and Jake Chappie scored for Lake Orion. Clarkson's Austin James put them on the scoreboard around the 10 minute mark in the second. Jake Chaffee earned his second goal in the third period and was assisted by Joe Brisky. The final score of the game was 9-1 in Lake Orion's favor. On February 18th, Lake Orion hosted a home game against their district opponent, Rochester United. This game, not only a high scoring one, but teams struggled to break through their defenses. Neither team able to score during the first 51 minutes of regulation play, despite both teams playing well. It wasn't until the eight minute period overtime when a goal was finally scored. Rochester United's Griffith Harper snuck a goal past Lake Orion's goalie, making the final score 1-0. Here are the current OAA Red standings. The girls bowling team traveled to Farmington Hills for a doubles tournament against Farmington Harrison on Sunday, February 7th. Lexi Babbitts and Madeline Marcetti placed second. Hannah Mix took second for a high game of 236, and Alex Boyer took fourth for her high series of 461. On Monday, February 8th, the boys bowling team hosted Hazel Park. The Dragons jumped out to a quick 10-0 lead. The final score was Lake Orange 25, Hazel Park 5. Zach Biskner had a high series of 466. 
on Wednesday, February 3rd, the Lake Orion wrestling team hosted Rochester and KPAC in the field house. It was senior night at Lake Orion and all five seniors notched wins for the Dragons. The first duel was against KPAC. With lots of juggling lineups on both sides, the final score came down to a tie with 36 points apiece. Lake Orion ended up winning on criteria D. That means the Dragons won a majority of the 14 individual matches, therefore winning the team duel. The final score was 37 to 36. The second duel of the night was against Rochester. The Dragons substituted some junior varsity wrestlers into their varsity lineups because both teams will see each other in team districts. It's a tactical move from Dragons head coach Jeff Smart and one that paid off at the time. The final score was Lake Orion 41 and Rochester 26. Several high school cheer teams throughout Macomb and Oakland County competed at the Division I districts held at Lake Orion High School over the weekend. After a long day of strong competition, the Lake Orion varsity cheer team took home the D1 championship title with a final score of 769 points. Coming in second place was Grand Blank with 766 and Clarkson was third with 749. The top four teams are moving on to regionals, which will be held on Saturday, February 27th. So congratulations to the Lake Orion cheer team and good luck at regionals. Thanks for watching this episode of Lake Orion Sports Update. I'm Kevin McCormick. Make sure you tune in next time for the latest news during the winter sports season.